quick video today. I just want to show you a couple of things you get if you use debug mode in Flask. Um, debug mode is for development environments only, of course. So when you're developing your app, you can use it. But if you have a live version of your app, you obviously want to take debug mode off. So I have debug mode turned on here. There are other ways to do it, but I'm just going to show you this way. Um, the first thing you get with debug mode on is reloader. So let me start the server using this file. And you see, uh, restarting with reloader. So reloader is on. So if I refresh, I have hello here. And now I want to make a change to the file. And once I save it, reloader is going to detect that I saved it and restart the server automatically. So I don't have to exit out of this and restart it again. So I just refresh and the page is updated. And the second thing you get is um, a stack trace slash debugger when something goes wrong. So let me do 10 divided by 0 so it throws a divide by 0 exception. Uh, reloader restarts the server since I just saved that. And when I refresh, I get this error page. So you can see there's a trace back, and here's the call where it failed. Uh, one thing you can do is you can view the source of where it failed. So um, you click on this little, looks like a source file over here, and it shows you the source. And also, it has an interactive mode, so you can play around with um, some of the variables here. So it opens up a little console. So result equals. So something like that. But uh, you can see how this can be pretty useful. And you can also see why you wouldn't want this in a production environment because anyone can just run the code here. So see what happens if I throw another exception. And it, it just makes another window here. So that's all I want to show you for this video. There are other things you can do in Flask debug mode. If you want to know about them, just check out the Flask docs. So thanks for watching.